Hello, Jackson staff and families. This is Nicole Permelli, superintendent of Jackson Schools. We had shared in our reopening plans that we would continue to assess um, the status of the district, and we have been doing just that from week to week, month to month month to month, we have been discussing and looking at our data and where we are in the district. We are ready now to begin discussing um, and creating plans for more in-person instruction within our schools. We um, first want to begin by sending a survey to our staff and to our parents to take the pulse, get a feel for where we are, and then we will um, look at that information along with our health information um, and where we are with COVID cases within our, our district our town and our state. With that, uh, just a reminder that even in our discussions of phase two and bringing students back for more in-person learning, the health and safety of our students and our staff must come first, and it is our governing philosophy as we plan and move forward with any in-person instruction. Even as we move towards phase two, uh, a reminder that this goal stays intact, that we create a plan that is safe, meets the mandates of the New Jersey restart and recovery requirements, that it's responsive to our community needs, and that it is feasible within the constraints of our facilities, transportation, space, and resources. Just a reminder, this is where we currently are in phase one, and we are opening discussions and planning and brainstorming for phase two right now. From the beginning, we had communicated that we would make decisions based on the health data in our district, and that includes tracking our COVID positive cases, as you well know from our dashboard that is on our district website. We will continue to do that, as well as continuing to monitor the activity level within our region and the state of New Jersey. We do this on a weekly basis. We'll continue with all of the safety protocols that we currently have in place, and we'll be ensuring that no matter what plan we put into place, we will continue with all of the regulations and the safety protocols that you see listed here on this slide. So as we begin to move forward, we wanna make sure we are moving forward carefully, that we evaluate any changes that we are considering to make and make sure that they are safe in our school environment. Part of that is surveying you all, um, and we're asking you to complete this quick survey. And we are also um, going to be looking to ensure that whatever we do in the near future for bringing more students back, that we give plenty of time to our staff and to our families to prepare. And if it's possible, um, the best time to transition students will be looking at that, whether it's a, a natural break in our calendar, whether it's a marking period, a semester, or um, like I said, a calendar break, but we will be looking at all the possibilities within the next week or two. We know phase two um, will include more in-person learning and that will bring along some positives and that will be along some things that we need to consider. Some of which include um, obviously uh, knowing that more person, in-person time for students is what all of us would like to see. It will help us with our curriculum. It will help with the social emotional learning of our students. We know it will deliver less screen time um, for our students and we hope that it will also um, provide us some more childcare options um, in the afternoons or um, after hours for our families. We must also consider that more in-person instruction means more students in our school and this impacts the ability to maintain social distancing. And we'll be looking at what we can do to assist in those areas. In the event of a positive case, though, this could mean that more students may need to quarantine based on the number of students in a classroom. However, I am confident that we can manage that and maintain that with using our seating charts and all of our health uh, protocols of washing hands and, and such within our classrooms. For now, um, we are considering all options. We'll take a look at the data that comes in at the end of this week and begin to move forward um, with our planning. For now, we are putting out the November calendar for group one and group two as we evaluate our options. Um, once we have those uh, decisions in place, we're hopeful that the review of data and our brainstorming will bring us to an early November decision in communicating with our staff and families of what phase two may look like. Just as a reminder, um, I wanted to make sure everybody understood that our full remote learning program will stay intact. There will be no changes to that 
all um, students who are in that mode of learning may continue with that mode of learning. This is simply talking about bringing groups one and two together within our buildings. As a reminder, as we all know, as of last week, we need to make sure we are prepared in the event that we need to go full remote, whether it be in a classroom or a school. So just a reminder, making sure that everybody uh, keeps that in the back of their mind as they're bringing materials back and forth to school um, and that they're preparing just in case they need childcare. So as I mentioned, we'll be releasing the survey today. I please encourage you to fill it out as soon as possible, perhaps right after viewing this presentation. We're looking to gather your input, have it back by the 28th. I know it's a short turnaround, but we are eager to hear um, your input, staff and families, so that we can begin to finalize plans for phase two um, of bringing students in for more in-person learning in the very near future. With that, um, as always, we encourage you to continually access our website and our reopening page where everything um, related to the opening of this school year is housed. It's a plethora of information, so we encourage you to take a look at that. I thank you for your time in viewing this and I thank you in advance for completing the survey quickly. So again, we can begin to move forward on phase two um, of bringing students back. Thank you and take care.